Hi there, I hope you're doing well. So I haven't made a video in a while and there's been a lot of things going on, some major changes that, that happened that I'll, I'll kind of go into at some point. Uh, but I just want to share with you, I'm so excited. I finished my sweater. <laughs> So I basically have been working on this for three years. I started it in, you know, the beginning of the pandemic and had never knit a sweater before. And I did a lot of it. So this was knit from the bottom going up. And what's fun is there are some fun pocket details. What these are basically practice so that once you get up to here, you're confident that you've already done the fair isle technique. And so I thought this was really great. I'll put a link below of the class that I took for it. And one of the reasons why it took so long is I let it sit for about a year because I had to cut the middle of this. You do these steak stitches that help to reinforce it. But for some reason, you know, I was like, I, I can't do that. I got hyped up with everyone else saying the same thing. I eventually did it. I was really glad I did and eventually <laughs> was able to finish it. So I love wearing it. The only detail I did different was I changed the basic sleeve here to have like a green design that kind of carried along with the top here as well. And I had to make some major fixes. I did a major cutout of one of the armpits of the sweater. Had to redo it step by step by step by step by step of each row. And it was a lot of work. But I learned from that and I learned how to approach it differently. It'll be a while before I start another sweater, even though this morning I thought, oh, maybe I'll, <laughs> I'll start another sweater. So I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna be focused more on my weaving. So I'm really getting into making my weaving fork better to focus on, you know, how I can really build this business with that. Because so far I've talked about it, but I haven't done too much with that. So I'm really, you know, building that up uh, for myself to be able to share that with others. I also got my long arm machine going. I was able to quilt uh, really uh, in a really easy way. And so I'll show some videos as well, but it was so nice to be able to have the machine work and have it go and be able to just zoom along stitching with it. It's a pantograph style and so it was really lovely and uh, I really am looking forward to uh, maybe picking up some uh, quilts for people if they want some uh, quilting done and uh, that'll be kind of part of what I'm thinking about the next venture with, uh, with my studio as well. Just finish it. <laughs> you start a project, just finish it. That's a friend of mine, her, her word for the year is finish. And I think there's something really lovely to that as well. But there's also so many projects I wanna start. And sometimes you don't finish a project because maybe you got out of it what you needed to and you move on to that next thing, right? So. You know, I always feel your creativity is, is basically what your gut is telling you at that time is what you should do, okay? And follow that because there's something to that. And uh, I hope that each of you with this new year are able to come up with those, those things for yourself to be able to follow and develop. I also uh, learned how to pick up my um, speed when spinning and so that was another thing that was really fun that I did and uh, you know it's amazing what you're able to do with changing your approach to how you're holding something and picking up your speed and uh, thinking about you know that if you're doing something why not make it faster so you get there faster right it's a concept that just seems so obvious but there's something really 
um, awesome about thinking about the production level of things as well, right? I am building a business. I do need to <laughs> figure out more with that production style. And so I look forward to sharing more with you with that. So also uh, t take a look at uh, my video that advertises my online courses. I have three videos up for my weaving clubs and those show you how to make your own loom from cardboard, how to play around with different uh, types of designs or rows and then how you can finish that as well and what you can do that for um, you know hanging it on the wall or using it um, with a sewing project as well. So, and I'll be working on now my sewing, my second sewing video, and that's going to be really about how to sew. Okay. And I'm going to show you basics, starting off with a little quilt and it's going to be like a little, um, you know, tabletop thing that you can put underneath your sewing machine. And, um, so that'll be kind of my first project with that. So I installed the leader that's for the quilt back and I had washed these and I think that it shrunk up quite a bit because there's a lot of bubbling here now. And so what I think I'm going to do is actually unstitch all of these and then re-sew it so that it does, it's more flat because this could influence things possibly. Um, I think that I think it's worth trying, at least with one. I don't all know. I'm at the studio today, and I don't know if you guys knew, but I have waterfront um, views. <laughs> so there's a little bit of a rainstorm out here. Supposedly this hasn't overflowed before, <laughs> so I'll keep an eye out today. All right, be safe out there, California. Thank you. 
Birdie. Long arm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you later. Bye.